Hello again. Uh, we just got off the 303 service from Kidderminster into the centre of Worcester. And here we are at the Crowngate bus station. And now we are going to do the 296 service towards Bewdley, uh, which is also operated by Diamond Buses. As you know, the 303 is operated by Diamond Bus, previously first Worcestershire, uh, when they used to own the Kidderminster depot. Uh, the 296, however, uh, had a a lot of operators so it went from first Worcestershire to Diamond then to Coniston then to Aston's and now it's back with Diamond and the bus we have is an Optair Solo so I will see you on the 296 Okay then guys, we are now leaving Worcester and we're on our way towards Bewdley on the uh, 296 route. Um, so here we go, we're departing Worcester and we're on our way to Bewdley. So we're just going over the level crossing which is right here where the railway tracks uh, go across. And uh, so we're on our way uh, towards uh, Bewdley. Uh, via Starport on 7. So, as you probably know, uh, the 296 uh, was previously operated by Aston's coaches. And way before that, it was operated by Coniston coaches. Now, to clarify, Diamond used to do this route before, but it didn't run to Bewdley, and it wasn't the 296. It was the 295 via Wilden. The 296 was created by Coniston to replace the Worcestershire County Council 16 service, which went from Starport to Bewdley. But Diamond did run a 296, but that was in the Stourbridge area. And that was the um, uh, one trip each way, uh, Monday to Friday, 
uh, Stalbridge to Brockmore. And that service got withdrawn in 2018. So, anyway, here we go. We're now leaving uh, the Worcester area and we'll be heading for the countryside. Now, the 296 operates every two hours, uh, Monday to Saturday, with no service on Sundays and bank holidays. And uh, the route uh, only takes one vehicle. Uh, but for the 294, it takes two in the evening and one in the morning. And uh, the bus, um, as you probably know, we've got is an Optair Solo, uh, which is fleet number 20868. And I'll just take you through the history of 20868, uh, which is one of the Optair Solos at the Kidderminster Depot for Diamond Buses. So, um, here we go. So, uh, I'm just going to take you through. And I know it's the sister bus to 20869. Uh, so, here we go. Just going to... So, so anyway. Um, so, 20868 then. Uh, this was acquired by Diamond Bus in 2013 and was allocated to the Tiverdale Depot in 2014. And you probably might have seen that years ago on the 4s from Warsaw to West Brom and also the 401E from uh, Warsaw to the U Tree, which no longer exists. In 2017, the bus was, a, was, the bus was transferred over to Redditch. And then in 2022, it was transferred over to Kidderminster. Now, 20869, that was acquired by Diamond in 2013 and was allocated to the former Longacre Depot in 2014 and then transferred over to Tiverdale uh, that same year and then to Redditch in 2017 and then coming over to Kidderminster in 2022. However, there is also 20870, but it's not the sister bus uh, to these lot because that one's a different type of Optair Solo. And that was acquired by Diamond in 2017 and allocated to Redditch and then transferred over to Kidderminster in 2021. And that uh, bus is a, a 55 plate Optair Solo. Um, and that's uh, YJ55 BLN. So, here we go. We're now leaving uh, Worcester now. And uh, we're on our way towards Budley. So, we're on our way to Budley. Or Buders, as they would call it. So, we're on our way towards uh, Buders. And um, so, here we go. Just now leaving for Buders. Uh, on the uh, 296. And we've also paired up uh, with the Yarrington 758 route, uh, which goes from Worcester towards Tembury Wells.
Okay then, guys. We are now on our way uh, back into the Wire Forest. So we're on our way to Starport on 7 on the 296 route from Worcester. So we're coming back into the Wire Forest because we started in the Wire Forest at Kidderminster bus station and took the 303 over to Worcester. And we got off at the Crown Gate bus station and we changed onto the 296 to go towards Bewdley. Uh, so anyway, here we go. Uh, we're going through the woodland area. Now, as you probably know, uh, there's a lot of narrow lanes on the 296 uh, compared to the 303. Even though the 303 does have narrow lanes, but it does go down the main roads uh, like the A449 while this one is more rural it has a more of a rural feel uh, compared to the 303 so anyway here we go we're on our way towards uh, Starport on 7 and um, so we're on our way to Starport right now and uh, then we will head um, towards Bewdley so I'll be heading towards Bewdley and uh, then we will terminate at Bewdley Load Street. So we will terminate at Bewdley Load Street. And as you probably know, uh, we've actually added uh, 2022 footage on. And of course, um, the uh, 125 footage onto this video. Because due to the fact this route had to terminate halfway coming into Bewdley. Uh, because of Bill's Corner being closed off. Uh, so we just added additional, so we just added uh, a pilot section of the route uh, to complete the 292, uh, not 292, 296 route successfully. So as you know, the 296 for the Wire Forest area was introduced in 2018 to replace the former Diamond 295 and of course the former Worcestershire County Council Wash 16. And... Uh, and that was when Worcestershire County Council were throwing tenders back in uh, from like Diamond to other operators. Uh, the 295, which became the 296, and along with the 294, was passed from Diamond Buses to Coniston. The 580 route from Kinver to Kidderminster, uh, that was passed from Diamond to Coniston. The 133 passed from Worcestershire County Council, Wush. Uh, to Coniston, uh, the um, the sixteen got integrated with the two nine five to form a two nine six. So that was passed from Worcestershire County Council Wush uh, over to Coniston. So that was also passed over uh, to Coniston coaches as well. So anyway, here we go, and of course the uh, the two L, which is now the two nine two Kidderminster to Ludlow, was passed from Diamond Buses. Uh, to R and B, and that was actually the first route to be given back to Diamond uh, from the uh, twenty eighteen changes in Worcestershire, and that started uh, in January twenty twenty, and then September twenty twenty was the next one to change with the five eighty going from Coniston back to um, back to Diamond. And however, the rest went to Aston's, except the 213 was passed on to um, Wire Forest Dollar Ride, while the 133 was passed on to Finesse Travel. And uh, so the 15 was, ne was the next one to be passed from Aston's to uh, Diamond. And then finally this one, the 296, the 294, and of course the S15 was passed from Aston's to Diamond, except... Uh, Diamond didn't do the S15. Uh, so anyway, here we go. We're on our way to Starport. And then after all those changes, Diamond started to bring back the 287 uh, to be integrated with one, with the 142, which was the National Express West Midlands 28 service. Uh, so, so Diamond has got a lot of old routes back now as and also creating brand new ones as well. So here we go. We're on our way now. Uh, towards um, Starport on 7. So anyway we just come to temporary traffic lights. And we'll be on our way to Starport on 7. So we're on our way to Starport on 7. 
and um, so we're on our way to Starport and this service will terminate in Starport, uh, Starport in Gukna. So anyway, here we go, just enjoy the remainder of the journey.
Okay then guys, here we are. We've just now arrived at Starport on 7. And we're just about to do the last leg of the journey. As we uh, next head uh, towards Budley. And that is where we will terminate the service. So we will be terminating at Budley uh, Load Street. And that will be the end of the 296. Um, so here we go. We're just now uh, leaving. Um, so we're just now leaving the High Street in Starport on 7. And we're on our way to Budley. So here's all the row of shops here in Starport. And uh, the main frequent service serving Starport on 7 is the number 3 route that goes uh, from Kidderminster to Arley Kings. And, of course, you've got the 15 service that serves Starport, which is the Kidderminster to Starport Circular. And, of course, you've got the Thursday only 213 to Astley Berth. Uh, so, anyway, we just now arrived into Starport on 7. So, here we are in Starport. And uh, Starport is also home to the iconic uh, amusement uh, area, which is the Treasure Island. And, of course, you've got the Playland Amusements. Anyway, we are now going down the Gilgal. Yes, the Gilgal. So, we're now going down the Gilgal uh, on the um, 296. And, as you know, the Gilgal is a very, very busy part of Starport with loads of cars. It's always a busy road. Uh, so we're now going to go down the Gilgal. So here we go. Down the Gilgal we go. So we're now on the Gilgal. Uh, so this is the Gilgal. <laughs> and um, so we're now at the Gilgal. And uh, the petrol station is just right here on the uh, left hand side. Uh, so that's the petrol station there. And uh, so we're just going down the Gilgal and uh, just coming up in front of me is the Starport Tesco supermarket. And uh, to access the Tesco on this end, uh, you enter a foyer area where you then go down uh, a set of stairs and there is a lift uh, which is made by Otis Gen 2 that takes you down uh, to uh, the lower level which is the lower which is where the main car park is and that takes you into the store now as you know this Tesco doesn't have a cafeteria or clothing but it is a very nice store I really like this Tesco here in Starport and of course there is a petrol station here so anyway here we are we're at the foyer area of Tesco Starport and what we're going to do we're going to go around the roundabout and then go back on ourselves to then head towards Budley. Uh, so this is the Tesco supermarket. Here in uh, Stairport. And uh, we're going to turn. Um, so we're going to turn right. And then head uh, towards Budley. So we'll be on our way to Budley. And uh, this is a very nice route. Uh, shout out to Black Country Traveller. You should check out this route, the 296 uh, Worcester to Budley. Uh, it's a brilliant route. Um, operated by Diamond Buses. And you probably uh, either get an ADL Enviro 200 on, a street light, or maybe an Optair Solo OSR. And uh, sometimes a Volvo B7 RLE. Uh, but however, on today's video, it was an Optair solo. So finally, we've done uh, the Optair on this route. So we got this one ticked off. And uh, so more videos are going to come real soon. So hopefully soon to do the Cookley run, which is the uh, 9C. And also soon the 52 all the way to Redditch. So I'll... So I'll let you know when I'll get more and more uh, videos here on the channel. Joe's Bus Train Plane Lift Adventures. Uh, so here we go. We are now on our way uh, towards Budley. So I'm going to go back up the same road and then we'll turn. And instead of heading back towards the Gilgal, I'm actually going to carry on 
and then we'll head uh, over towards um and then we'll head over towards um uh Beaudley Way via Burlish Way. So we're just now gonna go past the Lidl. So we're gonna go past the Lidl here in Stourport. And just nearby the Lidl, uh on the other side there is a co-op here in Stourport. So here's the Lidl. Anyway, guys, we are going to split uh, from the number three route. So the number three will continue to head towards Kidderminster, while we'll turn uh, left to head towards Bewdley. And when we get to Bewdley, we will be joined up with the 292 service, which is the Kidderminster to Ludlow, the Yarrington's 291 service that goes from Kidderminster to Tembury Wells, and, of course, we'll have the number 8, the Kidderminster Local Service, which connects Rifle Range, Haberley, uh, Ribnall, Kidderminster, and uh, Barkill and House Park in Bewdley. And also the 125 service, uh, which is the Stourbridge to Bridge North. So we'll meet that uh, when we get to um, uh, Bewdley. And then we will terminate it... Um, so our journey will come to an end at uh, Bewdley. Uh, so we will terminate at Bewdley. And what I'd like to say is I hope you enjoyed my videos here on Joe's Bus Train Plan Lift Adventures. It's been a pleasure to have you along. And please uh, be notified when more videos uh, will be on the channel uh, real soon. Uh, and I'll let you know when more videos will be along. So we have done really well. So we'll continue to succeed with more and more exciting videos that will be here on Joe's Bus Train Plane Lift Adventures. And um, so uh, we're on our way uh, all the way towards Bewdley. So we're on our way to Bewdley now. And uh, once we terminate at Bude Lake, that will be the end of our trip. So, we'll, so we're so we going to complete our trip at Bude Lake. Um, so we'll terminate at Bude Lake. And that will be the end of our lovely trip. So we've had a lovely trip to Worcester. And hopefully we'll do a trip to Redditch real soon. And probably a trip to other places. But, I'll, but however... Just uh, watch the YouTube channel for more updates on videos, etc. Because then, whenever I upload, uh, you'll you'll be amazed what video uh, will come on the channel. Um, so we have got Redditch uh, coming up uh, real soon, and loads of other things that are going to be coming up. But however, no specific date is confirmed. It will come at last minute, which will be a massive, massive surprise for all of you viewers here who are watching uh, my stunning YouTube channel. And this is one of the most stunning channels uh, to be watched. Uh, and it's Joe's Bus Train Plane Lift Adventures. So here we go. We're now on our way towards Bewdley. So we're coming to the Burlish Crossing. And uh, we'll then head all the way uh, to Bewdley. And that will be the last leg of the journey. So we're just coming to the last stretch of the route now. As we head all the way from, Be from Worcester to Bewdley. So, uh, so we're now heading from Worcester all the way to Bewdley. Now, as you know, when Coniston coaches used to do this service, it was always an Optair Solo. Uh, also, there was an Optair Solo SR on, a Scania Solar. Sometimes you had the coaches. I know Coniston had the Ex-Lothia and Optair Solo SRs. And they have put a coach on this route as well. I remembered riding the coach on the uh, 296. That was an, an amazing run. And when Aston's took over, they used coaches. Um... Uh, they also use the minibuses and, of course, uh, no surprise, they even put on, uh, you guess, an Enviro 300 and also the ADL Enviro 200s. So there's been Enviro 200s, uh, streetlights, etc. and coaches. 
a mini boss this, so there's been Enviro's on. So anyway, here we go. We're now on the approach to Butley. So the 296 has ticked off. Woo! We're done the 296. Yay! So we're done the 296 now. Um, so finally we've got the 296 done. Um, so the 296 is finally done. So the next next upcoming video will come up real soon. Uh, will come up real soon. Uh, it'll be a surprise for you lot, and I'm really excited uh, to say when will when the next video will be. But like I say, watch this space. So you'll just need to watch this space for what video will come next. And uh, so there are more videos to come on the channel uh, in the not too distant future. So here we go. We are now. So we're now on our way uh, towards them. Um, so we're now coming towards the. Um, uh, so we're now coming towards Beaudley. So this is Beaudley now. So we'd like to welcome you to Beaudley. Hope you enjoyed the trip all the way from. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the trip all the way from. Um, uh, so I hope you enjoyed the journey. And um, here we go. We're now coming to the last trip of the route. So this is our last part of the journey. And um, so here we go. We are now coming along. So as you know, um, the road was closed. Uh, Bill's Corner, but we're going to add the 2022 footage on and then the 125 footage just to complete the rest of the journey. Uh, so we have done extremely well. So we will continue with more videos so we just passed uh an optair solo sr which um uh, uh which is working for the s15 run the starport school run uh well the build lead to kidderminster run and of course there's the 292s that passes here that goes to clearby mortimer currently it's going the opposite way because of bill's corner being closed off and um so here we go we are now here in Beaudley. So we're now here in Beaudley. And as you know, it is very congested. And uh, working on the 292S uh, is an ideal Enviro 200. And also we've passed a few of those little mini coaches. And so here we go. We are now uh, arriving at Beaudley. So we're now arriving at Beaudley. So what I'd like to say is thank you very much for watching this YouTube video. So welcome now to Beaudley. So here we go. Let's just do the last part of the route as we head into Load Street to complete the entire 296 uh, route. So it'll be terminating in the build lane. Just enjoy the rest of the road. So then, here we go. We're now arriving in the build lane. So this is the um, 2022 footage and this was filmed on the Volvo V7 RLA, uh, the Plaxton Centro body vehicle. Uh, which was the ex uh, Black Royal Diamond uh, with the leather seats. So here we go. We are now arriving into Beaudley. So terminating at Beaudley, and that comes to the end of our lovely trip all the way from Worcester. And uh, the 296 is going to head back to Worcester. Uh, we've departed Worcester at oh, half past two and we got into Beaudley for half past three as it would do if Bill's Corner wasn't closed. And then by the time this bus will go back to Worcester, it will then go on to the 294 service to Kidderminster. Um, so here we are. Uh, we're, we're now on our way towards Worcester. And uh, then uh, not Worcester, so we're on our way into Beaudley. So this is the last trip. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed my videos.
So we are on our way to Budeley, and so here we are just now arriving into Lowe Street.